All right, guys, I'm back with a new little invention that I made in Zapier. Uh, what this does is it automatically posts and it automatically posts based on, off of a Google Sheet spreadsheet row. And then it sends that spreadsheet row off to ChatGPT and it writes. So you just map in the, the title from your spreadsheet row and then you prompt it. So just a real simple prompt is a test. Please write about this subject. No title, just the post, because I'm going to use the title later. Uh, and then this other part here, I'm actually using ChatGPT to teach me how to do this correctly. I'm a little bit stuck, but what I ultimately want to do is have four images get created and then added into the post. So you can see the response here. Uh, this is the response that was made from the prompt. So you can map anything from this in other steps with Zapier. It's pretty cool. So what I'm doing here is create an image with Dolly. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> and prompt real easy. I create a detailed image of column A. So it's just about what the blog is being written about. It does that again for uh, four different images. And then I don't know if you guys noticed, but here in the action, I had the prompt say, once you're done, add HTML image tags with a description, image one placeholder, etc. And so what this is a formatter by Zapier, and we're gonna go in and grab, so you're finding image one placeholder, and it's having it look in the response from ChatGPT, and then it's inserting the image created from dal -A. And does that again for all the other four images then it goes and creates a post in WordPress so real easy the title is just the title inside of the spreadsheet row the output is the output from the fourth step here and then uh, I don't have all these other options chosen but I could and uh, then you can send it over to WordPress as a draft uh, and let me back up here because when this thing runs, it'll run five posts in like three seconds. I think it was pretty insane. So I found an auto poster plugin that will go ahead and search on cron jobs. It's basically like schedule with inside of WordPress programming. Uh, that will go ahead and do this on a schedule. It's going to look for posts. And so you can like design it to create, you know, thousands of drafts from here and then put it on a schedule so you don't get banged for spam uh, from posting to, you know, frequently. Or if you wanted to just post, you know, a thousand posts in, <laughs> in a minute, you can probably do that as well here. I, I'm mainly making this video to show people and then get some ideas to make it even better because I'd like to uh, actually have an AI site that I'm using Surfer SEO for and I'm getting traffic from my articles there. And I'm trying to make a boating site all about uh, boating topics, but all made from AI stuff. So then what you want to do is in the loop action, it's programmed to do all this over and over again. So it can look at the next row, the next row, the next row, the next row, and it will uh, make posts that way. So you use the, uh, the loop action from Zapier, and then the action is here, and then press publish and um, to go in and get like content ideas uh, there's a tool out there called content sprout and it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you so you can see this project that I'm making here and uh, it's gonna go ahead and make an outline it very similar to surfer SEO looks at the SERPs and finds out you know what uh, what to write about but what I like about about this one is it breaks out all the categories underneath your main subject and then what it'll do is <clears throat> give you keywords uh, plus questions or a category base so now you can ex export this to your CSV and you can use this row here as all the articles to have the auto post poster write upon the uh, cool thing about Content Sprout is it designs uh, hierarchy, I guess you can say. So you have safety as your main category, 
underneath that is weather safety and all the different categories within set of weather safety. And so by doing something like this, you become the authority in a niche or a niche. So a lot of people like to say, and Google will see that as helpful and honor you as being authoritative in the niche niche. So that's what I want to test. That's what I'm going to be testing out using this tool and some AI to automate this. And hopefully I can make this site fairly quickly and then let it sit and come back and see if it ranks. That's kind of my plan right now. So hopefully this uh, inspires some ideas. And if you guys need any other help, I, I want to get this built out and just cranking. So maybe we can start a little project or something on that. But uh, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll go ahead and try to help you out the best I can. Thanks.